How's it going everyone? It's Juan Romero here from Switchwatch, back with another review, a game provided to us by Harmonious Games called Putty Pals. I want to thank all of our existing subscribers who continue to support our channel, we really appreciate it. And if you're a new watcher here, we'd love it if you considered subscribing. But for now, let's find out if this game is worth your hard earned cash. Let's get into it. Here there is a really simple story where a storm manages to sweep away the putty balls to a faraway land. The only way to get back home is to work together and traverse the volcanic, ice and tropical lands to get back to your putty friends. Audio here has a pleasant backing music and fits the game well. It's very melodic and has that feel of adventure of going out to explore. The little putty pals seem like they have their own little cute language. Every time they make a successful jump or reach a checkpoint, they make amusing little sounds. In terms of the visuals, they're really adorable in this game. Have a simple look, everything is clearly depicted, and the animations are all decent enough. I love how the putty balls, or people, however you want to call them, have these huge eyes that show expression at any given situation. It's those little touches which I like to see. The game just looks so inviting, and while it is inviting, looks can be deceiving here because the game in places is quite challenging. I did feel that the worlds themselves could have looked a little livelier, as they are bereft of any life. I was wanting to see some sort of fire spewing monster in the volcanic world, or some sort of snowman lobbing snowballs at us making our lives difficult in the ice world. There are no enemies here really except for the starfish type obstacles in some of the water parts, but I'm not sure that really counts. I would expect when exploring these worlds to see different types of enemies, and I was slightly disappointed that they weren't here. Instead, everything is about traps and how to negotiate them, and while that's not a bad thing, my imagination just wanted a little more. Everything is wonderfully colourful though, and you will explore different worlds containing fire, ice, and that lush greenery we always love. Now, gameplay is essentially, and I will stress this straight away, that the game is best played with a buddy. You can play on your own, but it's just nowhere near as fun. This utilises one of the Switch's main strengths of bringing people together, breaking off a Joy-Con each, and playing together. Putty Pals is exactly the type of game that showcases this brilliantly. If you like snipper clips, then this is another highly accessible game which will give you plenty of co-op fun. So I enlisted the help of my brother-in-law and we spent the day bonding. Yeah, that's right, it's a really good way of bonding and getting to know each other better. By the end of it, we had thoroughly enjoyed our time with Putty Pals and had learned that talking more often than not is a good thing. This game is all about communication then and helping each other negotiate tricky situations. Where this game really excels is the fact that it was built for two to play from the ground up. There are other games where adding the second player just feels kind of like an afterthought. Not here though. It's all very simple and you use three buttons, one to jump, the other forms a trampoline for the other player to jump on and the third button is used to reach out your arm and if you both do this, you'll hold hands together which is all very sweet. You each control a ball of putty and you'll need to help each other get past each part of the levels, obstacles and traps and you can do sort of swinging across ceilings which you're stuck to by holding each other's hands and swinging each other across. One of you will need to flatten your ball so it turns into a mini trampoline so the other can reach higher spots. And another example is passing through colour specific parts of the level so you can activate gates and the other can then pass. It's all relatively simple stuff but it's fun working it out together as a team. The controls and mechanics all work really well and there was no slowdown in either handheld or docked mode. The main issue other than not being a fun game to play solo though, and something we both said when we were playing, are there are a lot of scenarios which are repeated throughout the world too many times and this felt a little bit repetitive after a while. In terms of value then, there are 28 levels spread over 3 worlds and the levels contain secret areas where you can collect the hidden collectibles and it is really fun finding them. There are 3 to find in each level. 
by collecting these you'll be able to unlock 25 extra mini levels for you both to master. So there's a lot of replayability in the game here including some taxing time trials. Now all of this is for a relatively great price of £7.99 or $10.00. Compare this to the Steam version and you'll find that the extra content was added for the Switch version only and the price is exactly the same. So in that respect, for me, it's a bargain. In terms of my verdict then, this is the type of game which is fantastic to play with a friend, family member or your other half. It's not overly challenging, just enjoyable for two people to pass the time. The only negatives is it's not great to play alone and some parts are recycled too often. However, those issues aside, I think this has a great price and well worth picking up if you can play with another person. This for me then, solid, respectable, 7 out of 10. Now if you enjoyed this video guys, I'd really appreciate if you hit that thumbs up button and if you're a new watcher here then, consider subscribing to our channel for plenty more reviews like this one. And last but not least, leave me a comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this game or any other Nintendo Switch game. My name is Juan Romero from Switchwatch, you know what I'm going to say guys, it won't be long, but I'll see you on the next one.